This is the Urban Spree Gallery in Berlin, a meeting place for young artists and creative minds like Christoph Reichert, graphic designer and avid cyclist. And this is his custom-built bike. Here in this studio, he and a colleague are designing silk screen prints. Prints of a tiny detail that are used to adorn every bike frame. Head badges, the emblem of the bike maker. It's just one small detail on a bicycle that doesn't get any attention. But during our research, we noticed how beautiful they are and how much love goes into them. So we decided we have to show them. Long forgotten bicycle brands are re emerging from obscurity with colors more vivid than the originals. The tiny badges make a big impression when blown up to poster size. Christoph Reichert tracks down photos of the badges on the internet and recreates them on his computer. Product designs of the 1950s reinterpreted as the art of today. You see if a bicycle has a thought process behind it. Has someone thought about the geometry? Do the parts suit each other? Or does quality matter at all? Form follows function, and that goes for bikes as well as Bauhaus. The Chemistry Gallery in London. Together with silkscreen artist Dolly Demorati, Christoph Reichert is curating an exhibition dedicated to the bicycle. After Berlin and Budapest, London is the third venue. The final preparations are being made before the opening. Expectations are high and everything has to be perfect. London for, for actually exhibiting, showing and selling artwork is one of the best cities. I mean, at the Berlin and Budapest, it was much more about having fun and, and showing things more than, you know, selling things or anything like that. But here, there's just a really big audience. The exhibition is just as much about the cycling lifestyle. Photos by Leopold Fiala show empty streets and landscapes. There's also art in the saddle. Cara Ginther engraves patterns and designs into leather seats. The bicycle exhibition is a first for the 10-year-old gallery. We normally show a lot of print-based stuff. Um, from local artists or international artists, but to have something like a bike attached to the show is a really unique thing, so it's really, it was really cool to see. It's, we knew we were going to show it straight away. The art scene is booming here in Hackney in East London. So too is the following for boutique bicycles. Many of the visitors are professional peddlers rather than gallery goers. Dolly Demorati and Christoph Reichert seem to have found a niche. I've got quite an old bike as well, so seeing like the old bikes hung on the wall, it's like looking at my own bike in a gallery. Bikes have become more kind of um, custom built, especially like with Brick Lane bikes down the road. Um, it's definitely more of an art form than a form of transport. The bike has become a must-have accessory for the modern urbanite. For some, it's even a source of inspiration.